Jalen, what was it like to be targeted that much against Pitt? And have you ever been targeted that much in a game? Yeah, it felt good. Um, you know, in the second half we came and we changed some things as far as what they're running on defense. Um, so just getting those targets, uh, those receptions, um, just doing it for the team, you know, that's first goal. So uh, whatever I can do for the team, um, I'm going to do it regardless every time. Uh, Coach Goal has said that he wants you guys to believe that you're the best offense in the country. Is that something you agree with? Is that the mindset every week? Yeah, that's every, that's every day. Uh, every time we come in the facility, every time we meet, um, that's the standard. You know, we want to be the best offense in the in the country. And um, it starts every day in practice. It starts every time we prepare um, for anybody we're playing that week. So, you know, that's that's the mindset and that's the standard every day. Jalen, as well as you, Cedric, and Brew are playing right now, is there a better wide receiver room in the country? I think we're the best receiver uh, core in the SEC. Um, and, you know, to do that, we got to keep doing what we're doing, uh, keep making explosive plays. Um, when Hook throws it up, you know, it's not a 50-50 ball. We have to come down with it every time just to be the best receiver core in the SEC. Um, I'm very, I, I feel very comfortable with the guys we have, uh, especially with Hook being the quarterback. Uh, we just got to keep going every day. Jalen, a couple things, obviously, going after the offseason you had, you talked going, I think, in camp about just not needing to go out there and do it on, on Saturdays. T touched on the first game, 11 catches the other day. Are you happy? Are you confident or, or content with what um, you've done so far through two games? Yeah. Uh, like I said, there's always something you can improve on. Uh, and, you know, I'm not going to be happy until after the season. You know, I just want to stay hungry uh, just for this team um, and for the coaches and uh, just for my family. So uh, I'm not I'm – not, I'm not – uh, as far as content with everything, I just want to keep staying on the right path, stay hungry, and just keep going. I know as wide receivers, you guys probably want to make all the the big plays, the you know the downfield shots, all that. You had to had to work the short game a lot in that game Saturday. Are you are you good with that? Is that a part of your game? You think you've improved? Yeah, like I said, well, it, you know, it was always good to show you know something different that a lot of people hadn't seen. Um, and you know, with me, a lot of people, you know, you, you see speed and you see deep balls, and just to get the underneath throws too, and just to show that I can be versatile. Um, I think it helped me. So in, at the same time, you know, whatever Golish wants, uh, Coach Hype wants, uh, especially when we see a difference in their defense coming in the second half, and if that's giving the ball in hand and me getting the first downs every time, I'm going to do that for the team. Hendon was, was high on some throws early on, and obviously those, that was fixed later in the game. What, what's, the, what's the level of belief that, he, that mistakes that he makes are fixable within a game? Yeah, you know, everybody makes mistakes, uh, especially in this game of football. Um, and even with his, you know, throws, we, we all believe in, you know, Hook. We all believe in him. Um, you know, every time we came off the sideline, you know, at the beginning of the, of the drive in the series, uh, you know, we, we wasn't down. Uh, we, we didn't think that, uh, you know, whatever we were thinking, we, we were ready to go. You know, whatever, uh, you know, with Hook, um, we all know he's a great quarterback. Obviously, quarterbacks is, you know, you're going to be pressured the most time. And um, they were getting to him. Um, and, you know, even though the ball was settling on them, you know, we all came back to the sideline and just knowing that, you know, it's next play mentality, you know, next play. So, you know, we were all comfortable. We wouldn't let down at all. And similar question about Cedric. Uh, he had a couple drops early on. Uh, there was sort of this sense that, he, well, he'll make a play when one needs to be made. It, that wasn't – there wasn't a certainty like a year ago with him. What do you think has changed with him in the past year? Confidence. Uh, confidence, you know. Uh, with said, I, I really believe, you know, in, in his mind uh, that he believes that he's the best receiver in the country and he needs to think that. And like I said, just being receivers, you know, everybody's going to make mistakes, you know, focus wise, you know, catch the ball. But we all know what he can do, you know, and we're not worried about, you know, if he wasn't catching the ball or not, you know, um, he, he started leader in that room, in that receiver room. We all look up to him and, you know, we're just going to keep on going, you know, regardless if he's doing this or a bad game, good game, you know, he's our leader. And he, he proved, to, uh, proved to us that, you know, what he did in the overtime and catching the ball, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, like I said, we're just going to keep going, and that's, that's, that's our mentality. Jalen, you had a great off season. When you were working towards the season, is this what you envisioned uh, through your first two games, and, and how rewarding is it to see your hard work pay off? Uh, yeah, it, you know, it, it is rewarding just to see uh, as far as uh, – what I have done so far, um, but I'm not I'm not content with everything. You know, I I feel like I hadn't done anything yet. You know, I think that's what it is. Um, it's actually making me more hungrier. 
you know, um, just staying on the right path, you know, believing in Coach Pope, believing in our receiver core, believing in the coaches. Um, I, I really believe I can just keep getting better and better. And that's, that's, that's on my mind every time I get on the field. Yeah, Coach Heupel said yesterday that everyone in the building can just see the differences in you this time compared to last year. What does that mean when, when your coach says that everyone can see you're different? I think it's just a different focus, um, different focus, uh, different mentality. Uh, you know, when Bayless left, I knew I had to pick up. I had to pick up a slack for it because Bayless is a great player, elite player. And to play in this offense, you have to be elite. You know, you have to be elite every time. So that's my mindset coming in. I knew, uh, you know, when Bayless left, uh, right after that, you know, ball game, you know, I had to step my, uh, step my stuff up. And that's what I did. And I just want to continue doing that. Jaden, asking about one of your teammates you probably went against a lot in practice in Wesley Walker. What, what, how was it like playing against him? What does he bring sort of that, that – Star position, yeah, yeah, West, well. you know, West, T Mac, you know, the people that play the star, uh, great players, physical players. Um, you know, when we go against them, especially when we start getting the SEC play, uh, you know, they're SEC receivers, you know, and I mean, uh, SEC uh, DBs, I'm sorry. Um, and just getting to look for them every day in practice, it makes the game so much easier. So I'm glad I get to go against West, uh, T Mac, you know, guys like that, um, and just to keep improving both sides. Jalen, you guys as a team seem to play so hard for this coaching staff and, and obviously probably for yourselves as well. And we hear about the culture and everything. Why do you have the connection with Coach Heupel? Why do you guys enjoy playing for him as a head coach? I think what it is is that, uh, you know, he believes in us. And when you have a head coach that believes in you, um, believes in what you can do, uh, it makes your game go to a whole nother level. Um, and not only that, you know, when I was going through my struggles last year, he, 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 he believed in me last year, you know, and that's why I go so hard. That's why this team goes so hard because he believes in us. Um, obviously, he knows what, what we need to do, what we need to accomplish just to get to the, the level that we want to get to play, the, the level we want to get to and the places we want to get to in the SEC championship. And um, we, we just want to keep following their path. I think that's what it is. Gentlemen, when most people talk about Tennessee, they talk about offense. But Solon Page was talking about, hey, the defense may get overlooked. How gratifying was it to watch the defense play that well against Pitt? Yeah, it was very gratifying. I think, um, I think they needed that just as far as confidence-wise. Um, I, I always believed in our defense. You know, I always thought we had athletes there, athletes in every position there. Um, and just to see what they did against Pitt uh, just shows how much they're bought in and just how much they're listening to their coaches. And not only that, it makes it easier for us on offense, just knowing that, you know, oh, we didn't get a drive, that, you know, three and out that we wanted. And, you know, they come out and they get a three and out. You know, it just makes, as far as confidence-wise for the offense, it makes us feel good, you know, and just knowing that our defense has our back. So, but at the same time, on offense, we need to get better. You know, I feel like uh, against Pitt, we didn't accomplish what we want to accomplish, um, and we, we have to continue getting better. Jim, what was it like to see Brew McCoy step up and make a couple of really kind of big boy size plays in that game? I know he had a couple of 50-50 balls that he won. He, he, he broke free there to, to, to get the first down, move the chains. What, how much more can he do, and what's it like to see him get started? You know, I'm very proud of Brew. Uh, just, you know, all the things he had to go through and when he got here, and, you know, he had some injuries when he got here. And just saying, you know, as far as uh, – what he has done, what he has accomplished so far, uh, it just shows what hard work can do for you. You know, um, he stayed in facility time he got here, you know, learning the plays, learning the playbook, uh, learning what he needs to do on some routes, learning what he, what, what type of player he is. Um, I think he's starting to learn what type of player he is and uh, understand what he wants to be in his offense. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of him. You know, I'm glad to call him my brother and I'm glad to see him on the other side, you know, when I line up too. Thanks, Jalen. Appreciate that. Y'all have a good day.